A woman's menopause journey is not linear, and it isn't like any other woman's experience either. It's a highly individualized, variable experience. While there are certain hallmark symptoms and typical ages at which a woman meets certain stages of menopause, there's a lot of variety. So today I'm going to be talking about the different stages of menopause and what to expect in each stage. There are four different stages of menopause. The first is premenopause, followed by perimenopause, then menopause, and then finally postmenopause. So let's dissect each one of these stages, touching on the average age range, hallmark symptoms, what you can expect during this time, and average hormone levels. The first stage of menopause is premenopause, and you've probably already guessed what this stage is. It's the stage in which you're just having regular periods and you're fertile. You're not experiencing any symptoms of menopause or perimenopause. Now, the term premenopause and the age at which a woman is considered premenopausal is loosely defined. But typically, a woman in her 30s and 40s, if she's not experiencing perimenopausal symptoms, is considered premenopausal. Now, regarding your hormones in this phase, they're just cycling as they normally do um, throughout your menstrual cycle. So estrogen and progesterone levels are rising and falling as they normally would. Some women can start to have some hormonal imbalance as they get near perimenopause, but again, they're not experiencing symptoms of perimenopause at this time. Perimenopause is the second stage of menopause. This is the time in which you start to notice irregularities and changes in your body. So one of the first signs of perimenopause is an irregular period. However, you can have a whole slew of other symptoms, 34 to be exact, which can range from hot flashes and night sweats to weight gain and mood instability. Women typically enter perimenopause in their 40s to early 50s. However, women in their late 30s can also start perimenopause. Typically, perimenopause lasts about five years. That's on average, but that's typical, and that is not saying that that is going to be your journey or the woman's next to you. Some women have perimenopause symptoms for up to eight to 10 years, whereas others don't have symptoms for very long and enter menopause rather quickly. Now your hormone levels during perimenopause are erratic. This is when your ovarian function is beginning to decline, so estrogen levels and progesterone levels can fluctuate erratically. This gives rise to all of those uncomfortable symptoms that you have probably heard about in perimenopause. Menopause follows perimenopause, and a woman typically reaches menopause around 51. Now, a woman is described as menopausal when she has been period-free for 12 months. So once you have had no periods whatsoever, your doctor can usually safely say that you are menopausal, you can no longer get pregnant, and your ovarian function has declined to a level at which it will be for the rest of your life. In menopause, there really isn't a great test that can say that you are indeed in menopause or not. However, some doctors may take a follicle stimulating hormone sample from your blood to determine if you are getting close to or in menopause. What this does is it's basically measuring the amount of FSH or follicle stimulating hormone that is being signaled to your ovaries to produce more hormones in order to cause ovulation. When you no longer are able to ovulate, your FSH levels can increase. So that's what your doctor is looking for during this time. Many women, once they reach menopause, experience a reduction in their symptoms that they experience in perimenopause. However, it is not uncommon to carry some of those symptoms on for a couple of years following menopause, and even for years into postmenopause. So for example, some women in menopause still experience hot flashes and night sweats. Weight gain is very common, as well as vaginal dryness. And those are symptoms that you may carry on throughout the rest of your life as well because estrogen levels are now at a very low level. The final stage in the menopause journey is postmenopause. A woman is postmenopausal for the rest of her life after she has been period free for 12 months. In postmenopause, you can expect to throw out your pads and tampons. You will no longer need those as you won't have any periods nor will you have to worry about pregnancy, but you do have to worry about a couple of other things. 
So women in postmenopause, because estrogen levels fall to a very low level, are at an increased risk for heart disease and osteoporosis. So any room that you made in your bathroom cabinet by getting rid of your pads and tampons probably is going to be filled up with calcium and vitamin D supplements to prevent bone loss and bone fracture. Similarly, women in postmenopause experience vaginal dryness. So finding a really good lubricant to help you just feel comfortable in your day-to-day -day, or if you're having intercourse will also take up some room in your bathroom cabinet. Every woman experiences her menopause journey differently and it's completely unique to her. Some women definitely follow the natural progression of menopause, which is premenopause, perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause, whereas other women may enter menopause differently. So women that have had hysterectomies or their ovaries removed or they've been treated for certain cancers can enter menopause earlier in life. Whatever your journey is, when you start to experience symptoms of menopause, connect with your doctor to talk about the best strategies for managing your symptoms and helping you thrive during your menopause journey.